let's prove that the area of this triangle is not equal to 30 welcome back to my channel definitely first of all let's solve the area of this triangle um let's call this a b and c okay so area of a triangle is equal to what half multiplied by the base and the height okay which can be written as the base times height divided by 2 now if we take bc as our base and a o let's call this t and a t as our height now let's calculate the area of this triangle so the area will be equal to half multiplied by the base is 10 right multiplied by the height the height is 6 now if 2 divide 6 we have 3 and this will give us 30 but we are told that this is not the area of this triangle okay and we should prove that how do we go about this okay first of all since we have proved that the area is supposed to be 30 and we are told it's not 30. Remember that for area of a triangle, any side can be the base of the triangle. All right. As long as you multiply the base chosen with the uh, with the height that's supposed to go with it, right? Yeah. Once you multiply the base with the relative height, then you are good to go. So I can take BC. To be my base i can take ba to be my base i can take ac to be my base but in all they must give me the same thing as the area now let's call a b length a b x length a c y okay now let x be equal to my base this time now the relative height because when you turn this this way if you turn it this way, this place becomes our what? Our height. This is CA and this becomes our base X. All right. Okay. So this is Y and this is X. So if we choose X to be our base, then Y will become our height. So also using the normal formula, we have that the area will be equal to half multiplied by, now the base is what? The base is x multiplied by the height is y. So we can say that the area of this triangle is equal to xy divided by 2. But remember that the area of this triangle must be the same no matter the side we choose right so area is already equal to 30 so we can write this as 30 is equal to x y divided by 2 all right now let's go ahead and do this so if we cross multiply this we have that x y is equal to what 30 times 2 which is 60 all right now let's call this equation one now if you look at this you notice that we have two variables here so we are actually stuck we cannot get our x neither can we get our y from here so we need to build system of equations so that we can actually solve this now um using the pythagorean theorem in triangle a b c using pythagorean theorem using pythagorean theorem okay we have that Now, this is the hypotenuse, right? We are going to have that BC squared 
is equal to AB squared minus, sorry, plus AC squared. Now, BC squared is 10 squared is equal to AB is our X and AC is our Y. So, in essence, X squared plus Y squared is equal to 10 squared We give us 100. All right. Now, at this point, let's call this equation 2. Now, can we multiply equation 1 by 2? Because that is the only way I can manipulate this and this to get an algebra identity, okay? So, let's multiply this by 2. So, if we multiply equation 1 by 2, we are going to have 2 times xy, which is 2xy, okay, is equal to 2 times what? 60 which will give us 120. Now, this is still equation 1, but we multiplied it by 2. Okay? Now, shall we subtract? So, if we subtract, we are going to have x squared plus y squared minus 2xy is equal to 100 minus 120. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 2xy is equal to minus 20. Now let's recall that a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. All right? So that simply means that we can rewrite the whole of this as x plus y squared. Okay? So doing that, we will have x plus y squared. Okay? The whole of this is equal to minus 20. Now, from here, if... Please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell. If this is the first time you've seen this lovely channel, give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. Thank you. Tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch by God's grace. Okay? All right. Now, looking at this now, um, you notice that this will give us a number that is greater than or equal to zero, right? Definitely. Because even if we have a negative answer here, negative squared will still give us a positive number. Okay? But here we have a number that is less than zero. This is not possible. Not possible. And what does this mean? It means that this particular triangle does not exist. It cannot be drawn, the eyes. It means that it cannot be drawn. This triangle of its hypotenuse equals 10 and its height equals 6. It's not possible. That is what it means. So this is one of the ways to prove that this is not possible. Now, the second method, that one is actually faster and straight to the point. Now, let's use the second method. We are going to use a theorem. Remember that for a triangle, if you actually inscribe the triangle inside a circle, for example, this, if you have this, this is what the hypotenuse, right? If you inscribe this inside a circle, sorry, this is supposed to be the diameter. <laughs> it's a freehand sketch, okay? This is supposed to be the diameter. So this is like the center of the circle. Do you understand? All right. Now, if this is the center of the circle, then it means that the diameter is equal to 10. That is what we have here. Now, the radius 
let's say this is the center okay the radius has to be half of the diameter this is our radius so radius is half times d so our radius is 10 divided by 2 which is 5 so our radius is supposed to be 5 what 5 units but notice that the height is what is 6 now what is this telling us for you to draw your circle the radius if the radius is 5 it means that if the height of this triangle is 6 then you cannot it cannot be inscribed inside this circle therefore it's, it has gone against this particular theorem okay so that is another way to note that this triangle does not exist it's not possible it does not exist so that way we have proved that this angle this triangle does not exist therefore there is nothing like 30 units squared as its um area thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye